I want to do a shout out to uh, Bob Hansler, a uh, big fan of his channel. I recently talked to him over email, asked him if I could borrow his uh, minnow trap idea. Minnow, I shouldn't say minnow trap, it's a, it's a crawfish, crayfish trap. We call them crayfish in Canada. He said, you're welcome to do it. I said I would post a, a shout out for him on uh, my channel because I'm a big fan of his channel. Uh, if you haven't heard of him or you haven't visited him, him his channel, he uh, does a lot of trapping, uh, modern trapping. He doesn't use primitive traps so much, but he'll use a lot of bait type traps. He's located in Texas, uh, so he'll catch all sorts of things from snakes, uh, uh, crawfish, jeez, uh, uh, what else does he have? A whole variety of things. And he, he, he has this uh, access to this really great waterway system. He's paddled down it, uh, catching gar pike, and uh, he smokes fish. But uh, I've been a, a fan of his since he had about 5,000 subscribers. Now he's up to, you know, 45, 50,000. So he's doing really well. People are liking his things. So anyway, you, you're, uh, you're all familiar with the standard funnel trap. Okay, these things have been around forever. Basically, you put... Uh, you know, some kind of bait in there. Um, I, I used bread when I was a kid that would catch minnows. He suggests is uh, using dog food and it works really well for uh, crayfish. Um, I, I asked him, I, I wanted to make uh, my version of a trap. My version of a trap, I wanted to be able to catch crayfish and minnows because uh, we don't have the same level of, cray, as, of crayfish or as many crayfish as they do in the US. Uh, our crayfish are a little bit smaller and a little bit more difficult to come by so I wanted to make a, a dual purpose uh, trap so my version of the trap I used thinner gauge meshing than he requires for his trap which gave me some difficulty uh, in folding the ends so basically what this is is a, uh, a meshing it's been rolled over and then seamed together so there's a seam here it's basically a loop when you come it off it comes off a roll you make a seam to attach it together and then you seam up the ends at the end here now he recommends using J clips which would work except for this meshing is so small you can't use J clips so what I used was a uh, wire and the wire came with the roll to hold the roll together so when I unbound it I was able to grab that mesh or that uh, rope and then basically I just threaded it together so again there's a seam at the end I'll link to his video his video is, is a great description this isn't going to be a great description for this um, for his trap but you'll get a sense of how I made a minnow trap using the same kind of formula just with a different variety okay so the ends get seamed up here so this would be the round end gets pinched down and then what you're supposed to do is what I did at this end, which is you take that fold and you push it in so it ends up being the funnel. And I, was, I managed to do it on two sides, but when I came to do the other side, because I couldn't reach into the trap from the other side and manipulate it, I ended up just bunching it up. So this trap only has funnels on the one end, and you can see the door keep flopping open. Okay. So this does work the way he recommends doing it, but you have to use thicker gauge than this minnow type trap. This minnow type trap is too brittle, it folds, and then once you get into the structure here, it starts falling apart. So it doesn't maintain the integrity very well. Um, but I did find a way around that. So my second trap, for this one I used copper wiring because I ran out of the wiring it came with, but you can pick up some uh, some galvanized wire just the same so I used copper wire because I had it uh, available so again it's been rolled over stitched together here okay and then when you get to the ends again I tried to find a better way to do it this side failed but I managed to get this one so you can see the funnel on that one okay so for the other side I was rocking my brain I didn't want to ruin another one so I thought how can I do the other side so what I did was, this is a separate piece here. It's basically another loop, okay? Stitched together on the one side. And then once you get it si that side, then you wanna pinch it down the front here. So you're gonna stitch it around here like that. That's the stitching on the inside here. 
okay? And then once you have that side together, and then you're, you've stitched it over here, you slide that in, and then you stitch it around here. So it's basically the, it's the same shape as this, except it's not all one piece, it's an extra piece. So then once you've got that set out properly, then you're gonna do your stitching around here to join it together. So now it becomes the proper shape with the two funnels here and here. And then once you have it how you want it, you want to reach in there and you want to pull those side walls away here so that the crayfish and the minnows will get confused and they'll come away from that wall and get into that trap section. So that's how I built it. Hopefully you can figure out what I've done. Again, it's a loop over, seam here, this side, I tried to do it his way, which is basically, once you have it, you push, you push it through with your fist, and that makes that form. Now, if you can manage to do that, good for you, but this stuff's too thin. So the other side is that loop stitched in here, and then you don't have to, you don't have to push it in because it's already the right form. Slide that in, stitch it around. Now this does catch fish, uh, crayfish. Um, I haven't caught any minnows with it yet, but I haven't had it in the right place. I plan to leave it out here overnight. I'll, I'm in my city right here now. Uh, I don't know if it's a good spot for minnows or not. I've seen minnows around in this area, and I'm just going to bait it with bread because that's all I've got. So I still need to get the bungee. He recommends a bungee. I didn't have any kicking around, so I just used a spare piece of uh, a spare piece of wire, and uh, I'll break up some bread there. I've got some stale bread. This works real well. I'll break that up and then I'll, I'll chuck it out over here and hopefully we catch something and uh, have some results to show you, but that's it. And then that's the other trap like I showed you and the standard trap. And again, I'll link to uh, Bob Hansler's channel. Um, the, materials, the materials for this trap cost me I think 13 bucks. I didn't need any J clips. Uh, you may need to buy some wiring. Um, I was able to make two traps. I could probably make three or maybe two regular size one and a small one. Um, so that's about seven bucks 50 each. I think for the store bought version, I believe I paid around 10 bucks. So I got two traps or I got a trap much bigger much more versatile. You can see the size difference here. I can catch a lot more fish with this one as compared to the store-bought one. And the store-bought one is, it's already corroding and turning, turning gray already. And uh, this one we used on our Wilderness Living Challenge, which is gonna come up next. And uh, it's no worse for the wear. This is galvanized steel, so it should last a long time. So again, for about seven bucks, 50, Plus, I can make a couple extra traps. So I may, I may be down at his benchmark, which is a $5 trap. So anyway, thanks, uh, Bob, uh, for the idea. And uh, thanks you, thank you for your channel. I really appreciate all the stuff that you have on there. And I hope some people will get something out of it from uh, my subscriber list. Go over and check Bob out and give him a sub. Anyway, let's throw these out there and see how they do overnight. Hansler's design here produce two crayfish. So he's pretty much bang on when it comes to uh, this being a crawfish trap. So good for you, Bob, you figured it out. It's pretty amazing and they, they're pretty much side by side and this isn't really ideal uh, crayfish habitat. It's, it's just junk, mud bottom, swamp. It's really not ideal. Not like the rocky kind of uh, habitat these prefer. 
and a couple ducks coming in. Maybe they want my bread. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring these crayfish home. I'm gonna have my son try them because he hasn't had crayfish before. <laughs> They're fighting now. They won't let go. <laughs> so thanks, Bob. That's a great design, man. You, uh, you really figured it out and I figured out a double up as a minnow trap, although I didn't catch any minnows in here per se. Uh, there's no reason why it wouldn't work. <laughs>